Luxembourg last November at the World Youth Championships. This man lost in the first preliminary round and less than a year on. Here he is, guaranteed at least a championship bronze here. He made him through to the final four with some wonderful boxing in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. John Soldarov is just 20 years of age and this man is a confident, hard-hitting boxer, ranked number 11 in the world, came through a really incident-filled quarter-final win over Germany's Artem Harut Yunyan. He was doctor point in the opening round for careless use of the head, doctor point in the second round for illegal use of the shoulder, dropped Harut Yunyan in the second round with a three-counter shot before being declared a split decision winner as we see Freddie Rojas who appointed the man from Egypt soldier from Cairo at the quarter-final stage eliminating Eslam Mohammed. Mohammed, remember, had put out the tournament number one seed Lorenzo Sotomayor measured poor performance from Freddie Rojas to eliminate the Egyptian boxer in the final eight so here he is Still in his teenage years, guaranteed at least a championship bronze medal. But he wants to join his compatriot, Jude Reagan, in the gold medal bar. But he's got to get past this man. Iqbal John Koldara, the reigning Asian continental gold medalist. He's in Tashkent to see him win that gold. And he really is a talented individual. And having come through that stern test against Artem Harad Yunyan, the Olympic medalist from Rio last year in tournament number four C. Well, his confidence must be sky high, and he's a fighter who demonstrates his confidence anywhere. As we see Johnny Maiden from France, Johanny Maiden from France, giving the men their final instructions. from the United States of America and Uzbekistan contesting this 64 kilogram light welterweight semi-final and immediately the tactics obvious because the man in blue has got to get inside the tentacle-like arms of Freddy Rojas who just landed with a cracking southpaw right. The man in blue who also boxes out of the southpaw stance and is a heavy-handed individual as well. It's Iqbal John Poldarov, 11th ranked boxer in the world. And these two talented young men each of them keen to get through to the gold medal bar. Interesting to see Freddie Rojas as he goes about his work here, Ronald. Let's do it with a couple of good shots there. I've seen him in this room and use his jab very well, but he walks on to a terrific left hand there from Koldara, who has got a very wide stance, but he's very dangerous himself, and he's prepared to take a shot to land one, the man in blue. And when he does land on, he, he carries a fair bit of power. He's not really a muscular guy, but he's got a lot of leverage in his in his punches. And that produces those power shots. Produced a sweet counter shot to send Martin Harrit Yunyan to the canvas in the second round. And what was impressive, Richard, when we were commentating on that incident-filled affair, is that when he was got the point in the first round and then the second round, as well for careless use of the shoulder two points away and his head never dropped no. he remained committed to his task kept on carrying out his corner's instructions and boxed brilliantly to have his hand raised and declared as the winner i think he, he was a deserved winner as well i think justice was served there uh, but yeah he had the two points taken off and then it became a mental battle he had to get back into it both physically and mentally and mentally he, he showed great strength and uh, he was rewarded with the victory so two minutes gone in this opening round. Now to right jab from the back foot from Rojas, wasn't too far away. Coming square on the ropes there, looking to launch a big shot, but couldn't find a range with Koldaro. One of the problems that Koldaro has that problem is when he's throwing his left hand, he's got such a wide stance. That left hand of his, the rear hand, has to travel a little bit further to get to the target, and occasionally he falls short with it. So that's something that Rojas has got to pick up on. Maybe trigger him off and then adjust his feet and bring him on either to, to a left uppercut or a straight left hand. But Koldarov occasionally will fall in because he falls short with his left hand. And to work that right jab again. Freddie Rojas. Flaming. 
punches, not really catching any convenience. Kodarov, now the two men working away on the inside. Kodarov back onto the front foot, looking to launch that bazooka left cross once again as the 10 second clapper sounds. German Boxing Association enjoying the action here at Hamburg 2017, which has been a terrifically staged tournament. Scrappy first round, Ronald, I have to say. Some good punches landed here and there. But both fighters just trying to work each other out, going for it occasionally, taking a few too many risks and getting caught. So it was a little bit scrappy. Both landed with some good shots here and there. But lots of mistakes made and it's at this level. Who can pick up on those mistakes, exploit them and score because of them? Interesting. It will be interesting the second round, but the first round, not lying it. To the second round, then Freddie Rojas in Las Vegas, Nevada. Right in the fight game, good right hand from the man in red. Trying to come out at a higher tempo, landing a hard backhand, which causes Rojas to hold on. Is Koldarov terrific shot of the bent arm variety from Koldarov? You can see what both corners have said here. The blue corner have said, the Uzbekistan corner said, get up to this opponent, we've got to close that gap down. He's got slightly more longer reach than you. But what the American corner have said here to Rojas is just uh, keep adjusting your feet and keep a gap between you and your opponents and try and bring him onto that straight left hand and work the jab. That's what Rojas is doing. He's staying on the back foot now. And Kaldarov, as we know, he's a front foot fighter. He likes that pressure type of boxing, but he's got to get a little bit closer set to land those more telling shots. Holding his hands low. Bobbing and weaving and looking for that left hand all the time. There it is, launched once again. But short to the mark. That one two wasn't too far away. He's trying to quicken up the tempo here. It's called Arrow. Rojas slowing things down by tying his man up. The 2014 edition of the World Youth Championships called Arrow came away with a bronze medal in that global championship to guarantee himself at least the same here in the senior edition. Two-time national champion, chip gold medalist of Uzbekistan. He's just long with his hooks on the inside, but my goodness, he's getting some leverage on him. Yeah, he really goes for it, doesn't he? Koldarov. He has to do a little bit more on the inside, though, the Uzbekistan boxer. He, he, he looks like he's a better mid, mid-range boxer. Goes for the power shots, so though. He really goes for it, and he's landed a couple of good ones there. Good left hand that followed a right from Kordarov, jolting Rojas' head back. Rojas looking for point scoring shots, but they were repelled by the gloves. That south four left did get through. Rojas eliminated the 2015 champion, Vitaly Donetsev, in the second preliminary round. He's getting behind that right jab once again. And he's a hot hockey right hook that lands twice. A left hand was in there as well from Koldarov. The two men staring contemptuously at one another. Koldarov saying, come on, bring it. Trying to lay a trap for Rojas. But Rojas sticking to his guns, trying to implement his own game plan. And he's doing the right thing. He's the man in red. Keep it distance. You know, there, Koldarov just tried to... So he urges his man to come forward, but he wouldn't do that. He stayed on the outside. His punches are more long and straight. But Kaldarov, we know he's dangerous up at mid and short range. But Rojas is not allowing him to do that. For large parts of the round anyway, Ron. With your tempo in the second round. Kaldarov landing with some eye-catching shots. So here we see Rojas on the attack there as Kaldara punches and there's a good left hand from the Uzbekistan boxer who's trying all that round to get up closer to Rojas and he did on that occasion didn't he just moving to mid range and lands a shot So 
over to the third and final round in this 64 kilogram light welterweight semi final bout. He's been incredibly cagey so far. Oh, hard hooks exchange, heads coming together as well. So the two boxers really winding up, looking to land leather in the opening stages of this third and final round. Oh, cracking left hand from Cordero, counted immediately by the same shot from Rojas. Yeah, big punches from the man in blue. I think Rojas just took his off the ball a little bit to start this round and has allowed his man just to close that gap down. He's got to use the jab a lot more and try and keep it at his opponent at bay. To give credit to Caldara, he's closed the gap down and he's very dangerous in that mid-range section. The referee comes between the two men who are reluctant to break the clinch. Minute gone in this opening round. Good right hand at mid-range from Rojas. It was a long, looping hook. Catching Kolderov on the point of his chin. Yeah, good one, two, and two from him as well. Rojas, he's, he's a better straighter puncher. His problem is, Ronald, is his accuracy. He keeps missing with his jab. If, he's, if he increased the accuracy with his jab and kept hitting the target, it would keep his man at bay a lot more. Oh, beautiful shots from Caldaro, body then two hooks to the head, left hand to the body, right left to the head, and it's another untidy tangle at centre ring, beyond the midpoint of the third and final round of what has been an absorbing tussle in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division, those men fainting with the feet, a three shot salvo from Caldaro, right left right and the left hand had plenty of puff on it. Caldaro drawing his man in his knees, dragging him into that toe-to-toe -to -toe battle that he wants. Rojas has got to keep the punches straight. That's a little bit better, you see? Basic stuff there, then in the air with the left hand. Wonderful stuff from Rojas. Double success with the jab, then brought the cross into play before ending the salvo with the right jab. Inside the final minute of this third and final round, Rojas sneaking a glance to his corner. Beyond the ropes, they're just passing on instruction. Launching that overhand right like he's bowling a cricket ball was called out of well short of the mark. And the action resumes at centre ring. Good right jab from the man in blue. And now it's called Darov looking up at the big screen, trying to get a sense of how long is left in this round. Both men perhaps saving themselves for a furious fusillade of punches in the closing stages. Here it comes from Kordarov. Just missing the target again though, Ronald, wasn't he? The man in blue. This has been another close round. right down to the wire this one so who can produce a moment of quality in the closing stages fainting to end the third and final round Rojas acknowledging all sides of the arena here at the Hamburg Sport Haller in Hamburg a terrific performance from both boxers and we are going to the scorecard the third and final round saw some hard punches landed from this man but some volume was landed from Rojas who picked and poked effectively with mid-range punches. Yeah, dangerous clash of heads there. That was awful. Both looking that didn't come, out, come away with a cut. Good shot there for Rojas. Koldarov, always dangerous on that front foot. In the Uzbekistan corner, urging their man to come forward. They know it's close. So who's going through to the gold medal bout? Rojas has joined Kordarov and the referee. Let's get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by split decision. In the blue corner, it's Kordarov. It's Rajan Kordarov. Goes through to the gold medal bout with a 4-1 split decision victory over Freddy Rojas. Nice to see that sporting exchange between Kaldarov and the American coaches. It was a terrific contest, both boxers enjoying success, but perhaps the power punching of the man in blue proving to be decisive. Freddie Rojas, just 19 years of age, contesting his first World Senior Boxing Championship, comes away with a bronze medal in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. And what a tournament he has had, eliminating the 2015 champion in the second preliminary round. A terrific display by him, and he'll reflect on this with great pride and surely look to build on it for the future. But for right to hear it.